What is up guys and gals, it's Jonas95 here, and today we're doing a review and I'm going to wrap this up to the oldest uh, Power Rangers movie Zords review. This time we're doing the Combiners. So I did review all five swords. One is the two, pink and red sword. Unfortunately, the original thing was deleted, so I do re-upload the videos, so check them out. So anyway, let's start combining as well. So, I already did show in the transformation from last year, so let's go skip it and hit. Okay, so I'm back here. So, here we have assembling legs, and one is a triceratops is the left legs or right legs, and one is Mastodon is the right left right leg. One is Saber 2 is a lower torso leg, tortures, then the transformers, the upper variants, and the pink torso goes to the wings. So, yeah, once they put the weapons in this, all right, let's put combine, let's sort of the form off. Okay, so let's start the right here, let's put it here. Let's connect, goes here. Here we have the Lord's Horses in the case. And now for on top, this one. Now see that little connect. There's see that little hole, but connect to us here. And there we have Megasaur without his wings. But wait, there's still one more. <sighs> Look at the back. There's a little peg that's under the back. Oh, the connect here. That's my only. Everyone else complained that this makes sort of the movie version. For starters, that movie makes there's the big one is really tight. The joint is pretty loose. Yeah, very extremely careful. The one and you get fall over, you'll get ruined. <laughs> sort of so yeah. So there you have connect. And Less. So there you have it. Here we have Megasaur is fully complete. Now this one, his size, it's just ridiculous. I mean, look at his size of this. He's just ridiculous. He's about 22 inches. Oh, also he has a little Zord, the pink Zord as a Zord. Try and put his sword here. But I'll show you our equation later. Now, he is a pretty big, he's really large Zords. He's kind of, oh, well, don't want to fall over. Let's take a look at the head sculpt. Now, he looks pretty, looks accurate. Do like the head, looks like he has blue Feister's mask. He has a little details. Now, the most detail is pretty solid, closely, and movie accurate. Nice little detail tanks. Has a little foot. Well. Now for size comparison, I'll show you a bit later on. For the weapons, as for but oh, I forgot oh, about the RT question. He has head swivel. His arms goes up and down, and his elbows goes up and down. He has a ratchet joints. There's no waist or tuition. The hips does not move. The knees forward. So that was pretty much it. So now I'm just showing size compares. And here is next to the Voltron, the legendary combiners. So, yep, yeah, he's pretty big. So he's size of Metroflex and Fortress Maximus. And speaking of which, there was even announced upcoming Trenticon that was coming out the next month. 
I was pretty much dissipating fears. And here is next to the original Megasaur from the original one, the TV series. They look very similar design one. Similar design was head, but except the legs, the yellow was, was a black instead of yellow. So the case. So there's my thought. And, and you can see that I put the weapons to set ready. So there's my thought. Overall, it's say this is a solid movie being sort of figure. It's kind of big, it's really sized. My only my only biggest complaint my only biggest complaint is the reason because Saber Two Tiger Sword, the torture is a pegs doesn't log up doesn't log up and ends up fall apart. So I was kinda of really disappointed in this figure. So do like the as a detail paint is again it's for kids and adults collector. I mean it's your fan the movie versions of twenty seventeen. I guess say you wanna add your collection. So anyway I hope you enjoy this one. So what do you guys think about this? Leave it down and just leave the comment below. Your thoughts. So yeah. I actually hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. May the powers are with you always.